Hey, this is Mike. Thank you so much for choosing this video. Today I'm in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, visiting Sparks Toyota, and I'm checking out a 2018 Toyota 4Runner in the TRD Pro trim level. Now this is a very off-road capable four-wheel drive SUV that is 100% made in Japan. So let's go ahead and check it out. This 4Runner is sitting on 265, 70 Nitto tires wrapped around 17 inch alloy wheels painted a matte black, the TRD wheels. It also has four wheel disc brakes with ventilated disc rotors on all four wheels. The name of this color is Super White. And one of the things about the TRD Pro is there's a lot of matte black. So the white exterior color will help out with pointing out some of the black trimmings this vehicle has. So it has a decorative hood scoop here at the top, right there, looking pretty cool. And the matte black here in the front grille with the Toyota emblem in a silver, like a metallic silver. You have a skid plate there in the front with tow hooks, kind of hidden under there. The headlight bezels are a gloss black with a little bit of chrome accenting. The headlights are powered by halogen bulbs for your low and your high beams. Your low beam is in a projector housing and your high beam is in a reflector. The fog lights are LEDs in a reflector housing. Okay, so taking a look at the profile of the vehicle, of course it has the TRD wheels in a matte black with a red kind of popping through there. It also has red coil springs too, which I'll show you that in a little while. So all the rear glass is privacy glass from the factory. Now the dealer has tinted the front windows up here to match the back, so that will not come from the factory. The handles, the fender flares, even a portion of the side mirror are all body colored. Then you have the roof rails there with a metallic and black portion to them. The pinstripe was also added by the dealer. This is what the key looks like. It's a traditional key with a lock and unlock buttons, panic button, and then you have the Toyota emblem on the other side. Okay, so let's start here on the passenger side door. All right, so it's almost completely black except for the chrome handle here and the red contrast stitching. So you have soft to the touch surfaces like a soft tex vinyl type material here all the way up on your arm and down in this area and it also continues forward around your where your leg would be. The rest of it is a hard plastic, a durable plastic. Then you have the gloss black right in here on the handle. And check out your controls are in this high position, which is pretty cool. Now check it out. You have this forward shelf right here. So that way you can, you know, rest your cell phone or whatever right in there. And it passes through with your handle. So this, whatever you put there, you can put something long there or whatever. And then you have some pockets at the bottom, cup holders, and a storage space back here. Here's your threshold with a plastic seal plate power seat here on the passenger side with soft text, which is like a simulated leather material seats. They are heated as well. They have the French contrast stitching in red. It's looking pretty cool and they're very comfortable. And if you're not familiar with soft text uh, material, it's a very, it's a long lasting, a lot of people say better than leather type material requires less maintenance as well. There's the floorboard. You see the floor mat hooks in place in two places. There's a handle to help get, get in the vehicle. Now the dashboard is a textured uh, plastic. It's kind of like the texturing you'd find on, like on a golf ball, but smaller, little texture. Little holes there. And then you have like a brushed metallic look here locking glove compartment that's kind of open like a shelf and there's a little door in the back for your 
cabin filter, smooth plastic on the inside. Check out the TRD Pro badging here on the side. Looking pretty cool. All right, so here's the inside of the back door. Very similar styling as the front door with the soft touch features here and around your arm. Little shelf there just like the front and then the pockets at the bottom. Even the controls are up in the high position just like the front. All right, so the back seats have plenty of leg room. You can see, even with the front seat all the way back, it's very substantial. There's a slight hump in the center, but nothing too bad. And then you have two power supplies, 12 volt. There's your vents for your climate control. You have net pockets on the back of both front seats. You have the soft tex seat back here that's basically like a bench seat with this armrest that folds down with cup holders. You can get that out of the way and you utilize the center portion. It does have the latch system for car seats. You can also fold these down in a 60-40 split fashion to add to your cargo space. To fold the seats down, you simply lift up on this, like so. Now you can, of course, if you want to use it like this for a little bit of cargo space, you can. Or you flip the headrest down and push this button and it's assisted. It actually pushes itself kind of down and goes into place like so. So now we've added to the cargo space just by folding the seat while still maintaining passenger space. Okay, so taking a look in the back of the vehicle here, it has the roof rails on top which you can install uh, cross members in case you want to utilize that for luggage. Little shark fin antenna right there in the very center. Spoiler back here with a third brake light powered by LEDs. This whole window is a powered window. It goes up and down, which is nice. Tail lights are powered by a combination of LEDs and standard bulbs. Backup camera is a little bit on the offset position right here. You have the TRD Pro badging. Portion of the bumper is black. You also have a tow hitch. Spare tires underneath the back portion. All right, so let's go ahead and open this up. You can get a power lift gate if you want, but this one has the standard. But check it out, it has two speakers back here in the uh, in this tailgate so that way you can, when you lift this up, you can play the music and you can hear it pretty good outside the vehicle. And there's two lights as well, which is nice. So there's a shade in place. Now this is removable. You can slide it out of the way for now, just to give you an idea. So, okay, so if all your seats are occupied with passengers, this is your cargo space, which is fantastic. Look how much room is back here. Now, this one has the sliding floor, which I'll show you that in just a second. There's a 120 volt, 400 watt power inverter here next to a 12 volt power supply. Little shelf right there. And a storage compartment in here as well that goes down. So tie down with a little place to put stuff there. You even have a storage box right in here. You lift that up and there's a little storage compartment right in there, which is neat. Kind of hidden. Another shelf on this side. Tie down. And your tools for your spare tire are located behind this cover right there. Of course, you can utilize some of that space for some more tools or whatever. Okay, so this sliding floor. So what we do is we 
can of course use it like it is or we can slide it out so we pull that to the right pull it back and it'll lock in position here or here okay so that's the furthest point now it holds up to 440 pounds so you can sit on this and hang out tailgate play your music with the speakers down uh, you have the lights of course too when it gets dark and really really cool idea another feature about this oh, another thing that's good about this is let's say you put something heavy back here well you can rest it here and then push it into the vehicle um, by sliding this forward so now you've it makes it a little bit easier to load stuff and easier on their back and then when you get to where you're going you can pull it back out to you grab it and take it out you know off this platform which is pretty neat It also has, when you pull it out, it has these little hangers under here. So that way you can hang a bag or whatever. Just hang some stuff there if you need to. But really cool idea, especially with the weight capacity. You know, 440 pounds, that's very substantial. Okay, so the seats are a 60-40 split. You can remove this cover. Right in here is the split. Now, you can also lower the center portion here separately with the little handle right here so that portion could be split from that portion and this portion so you can fold down this side um, you can basically fold this portion separately from that but you can't leave this up while I fold that down so this is kind of more linked to this side than that side but anyways the point is you can fold down one or the other like we should like i showed you add to your cargo space or while maintaining passenger space or you can fold everything down and just have this massive wide open space fuel doors here on the driver's side and it's a trad traditional cap with a little tether and a place to hang your cap while you're pumping your gas let's go ahead and start it up Okay, so here's the floorboard in front of the driver's seat. Floor mat hooks in place in two places, keeping it secure. There's your accelerator and brake pedal. Foot actuated parking brake right here, and then a footrest, pretty good size footrest there on the left side. Okay, so let's take a look under the hood. To open the hood, there's a latch a little bit to the right of center, almost in the very center portion right here. Move it to the left, lift the hood up. It doesn't take a huge amount of effort. It is a heavy hood, but once you get to a certain point, it goes the rest of the way up by itself. So there's your latch right there. So you just reach in and move it like so. Okay, so it has an insulated hood and a seal around the engine compartment there. Just kind of keep the airflow controlled and also helps with noise. Here's your battery, easy to get to. It does have an insulated firewall there close to the engine. Engine's actually covered up with a lot of plastic. Let's see if we can see some of it here yeah okay so you can see a little bit over here it has a mechanical fan so there's no electric fan for the cooling system okay so underneath this big plastic cover is a 4.0 liter v6 with 270 horsepower at 5600 rpms and 278 pound-feet of torque at 4,400 RPMs. And it's paired to a five-speed automatic transmission. The inside of the driver's side door is just like the other side, except for it has a few more buttons. And all the buttons are in this really high position, so not only can you see them, but they're really easy to access. All the power windows are automatic, so all auto, even the rear glass is automatic, one touch. So one touch down and one touch up. Power door locks are here and then you have your 
ability to lock out the windows like a child lock for windows so the kids don't roll the windows up and down all the whole trip power seat here for the driver as well as power lumbar adjustment now this seat you can go up and down tilt it and all that stuff just like a dentist chair and they're heated just to remind you on that here to the left of the steering column you have your side mirror adjustments you just pick a side and adjust it with that little pad there's your dimmer switch for your interior gauges so this is a button that turns on a heater that's just below the windshield wipers where they're resting right now so that way it releases them from ice there's your power inverter you can turn that on or off there daytime running lights so this has two daytime running lights on your headlight adjustment you can turn them on or off the standard ones um, but this one controls the led fog lights there's a portion of the fog lights that you can turn on by pushing this button and it will turn on your daytime running lights portions of your fog lights you also have a tilt and telescoping steering column and you lock it in place here Okay, sitting in the driver's seat, let's check it out. Check out the dash, all the features, the steering wheel, all that stuff now. So sitting in the seat, I have the lumbar adjusted. I have the seat actually all the way back, which is a little bit further back than I would be comfortable to drive for me. And I'm six feet tall, so I could put my legs completely straight out and uh, pretty good amount of room here. So. The footrest is still out of reach right now. Um, just far back, just to show you the potential as far as legroom here. Okay, so the steering wheel is a leather wrap steering wheel with the traditional leather texturing on the top and bottom. And then you have the dimples here on the sides, see if I can get it to focus. There we go. So you can see the dimples there on the sides. And then you have the regular texturing on the bottom and the top and it's a soft touch comfortable steering wheel so you can see i don't know if you could tell but it is a soft touch steering wheel and the thickness is good it's just a really high quality feeling steering wheel okay so your cruise control is hitting is hidden back in here you turn it on set it resume and cancel it by pulling it in it's kind of hidden but it's intuitive as far as using it right where your hand it kind of as you're driving and it moves with the steering wheel here on the right side is your Bluetooth phone controls you can answer hang up you also have voice recognition and you can change the display so this will uh, cycle through different information on the screen here on the left side you have your volume for your radio your mode, which is your different audio source on your radio. And then these buttons, you can change through your uh, presets going up and down, and then you can change through your audio tracks by going left and right and make selections here on the screen. And then you have a back button for certain screens you can go back out of. Windshield wiper controls are here on the right side. Turn signals on the left but it also has your headlight controls. You have daytime running light off, and that's the traditional ones, not the LEDs. Auto, parking light, and then your headlights here. Fog lights are controlled here. Okay, so here's your gauges, and zoom in a little bit here. You see it has a nice blue accents, but basically it's white lettering with a black background, so it's easy to focus on especially when you're transitioning from the bright road down to your gauges. Nice, they're really big dials and they're backlit. The uh, little lines there are backlit so you can see them good. Your RPMs are here on the left side. Speedometer is on the right. And then in the center too is your engine coolant temperature and your fuel gauge. Then you have this little screen in the center which gives you more information like your odometer, digital compass, outside temperature, and you can cycle through using this display button here kind of get some more information the digital speedometer is available uh, this is showing your vehicle so as i open the door it'll show which door is open has a little animation effect that's pretty cool 
and you can go into your settings, blank screen, uh, average miles per gallon, current miles per gallon, cruising range, elapsed time, you can reset that like a timer and then it goes back to your digital speedometer. Okay, so you have a digital clock up here and it's separate from your touch screen, which is nice because you can always know right where to look um, to find your clock and it doesn't get cluttered up with all the other stuff on the screen. Also, it's real easy to set with the hour and minute hand buttons right there just to set it. Okay, so your touch screen is here. It has a CD player across the top, traditional volume, tune through the station's knobs. You have physical buttons on the outside, so you go straight to your audio, your apps, and your home. Your home is a split between your navigation, radio, and your phone. So you have your apps. Let's go ahead and look at the navigation screen. We can zoom in and out. We can set a destination here. Go back to the apps. Has audio, your phone. There's no phone paired, but you can pair a phone and uh, have access to you know your phone book and things like that. You can use your voice to make calls and receive calls. All your settings are here. Traffic and weather will be available once you pair your phone. And then maintenance, this is pretty neat. You can keep track of your oil changes, tire rotations, brake pads, wipers, air filters, everything right here. So, and you can set reminders. Let's give you an idea of what this screen's all about. Climate control is down here. So you have your fan speed, your temperature, and where you want the air to blow. It's fairly straightforward. Your uh, heated side mirrors are here. So when you turn on your, your rear defroster, it turns on your heated side mirrors all together. So that's what that button does. And then you can recirculate the air air conditioning by pushing the center button here 12 volt power supply with the USB and auxiliary inputs right next to it A little storage pocket right here and down here has like this carbon fiber look which is looking pretty nice here in the center there's your four-wheel drive shifter so you have uh, two-wheel drive four-wheel drive high and four-wheel drive low selections there's cup holders a little storage space there trd shifter okay so let's go ahead and put it in reverse check out the backup camera so it's a little bit of an offset camera but it does have makes it a lot easy uh, a lot easier to you know back up to a trailer or whatever see from the bumper to the sky and all around because it's a wide angle view lens sort of like a GoPro and then neutral drive and then you can set your highest gear or you can change through the gear ratios uh, using this setting right here the standard mode with the plus and minus and you'll know what gear you're in because it's going to show right here on the screen At any time, you can go back in the drive by bumping it to the right. Has this open space here, so you can prop up a cell phone or whatever. Has a little uh, rubber floor, some kind of soft material down in there. Keep things from rattling. And it opens up all the way into the cup holder, so that way you can utilize this whole space if you need to. There's your heated seat controls and your power rear glass which I'll show you that in a few minutes okay so here's your armrest soft to the touch with the contrast stitching there and it's pretty good size might be able to share it with your passenger maybe it lifts up and you have a little holder here for tissues or whatever pen holder as well and a little compartmentalized storage space with a 12 volt power supply there in the front. A little divider and a place to put some quarters it looks like and place for wires to go in and out right there. 
it has an auto dim rear view mirror with the ability to turn the auto dim feature on or off using this button. Um, right now it's auto dimming because I have the shade of the light sensor which is located right back here. Okay, so you have these dials. Uh, this is for your four wheel drive system. So you have your terrain select and then your crawl control, which you, once you turn it on, you can, you can change the intensity of it, low, to, low, medium, high, and then, you know, it's even more divisible than that. And then your terrain select, you have, um, say, slippery roads all the way up to rocks. So you can make the selections there based on the conditions that you're in. Traction control could be turned off uh, with this button in case you need to spin tires. And then you have active traction control, traction control, because this is, when you're, when you're driving on off-road scenarios, especially if there's uneven surfaces or very slippery surfaces, one wheel will, will begin to spin with a differential and it will eliminate the power from the other wheel. So this particular feature, the active traction control, it will apply the brake to the spinning wheel so the power and torque can go to the actual wheel that has traction. So that way it keeps you moving forward. And this is your locking rear differential. So that way it, that's another thing that will keep it uh, Go, you going forward and not spinning tires in the mud or, or on a rock or something. Your home link garage door opener controls are here. Your interior lights, you have tap lights. You can turn on um, your lights with the door using this feature or you can turn that feature off. There's a little ambient light right in here. At nighttime it kind of illuminates the center portion of the vehicle where your controls are as like a little light moonlight without blinding you so you kind of that's a nice little feature. So the visor has mirrors and lights. Same thing on the passenger side. Okay, so let's look at the visibility in the back. So I have one headrest down and one headrest up just to give you an idea. Now you notice the headrest kind of lines up with the pillar, so it's not a huge deal. Um, passengers will probably be the, the biggest limitation as far as visibility because check it out look at there there's lots of glass lots of windows to look out of and now would be a good time to show off that power rear glass one touch down and one touch up isn't that cool All right, there you have it. Thank you for watching, and thank you to Sparks Toyota here in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and I'll see you guys next time.